In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Hoy Miles HMS 2000C. And what that is, is a quad microinverter, meaning you can hook in four solar panels into this one microinverter. Two up here, two down here. Then this goes into the trunk cable. I'm going to show you how that snaps in. And I'm going to show you how you would extend this to hook up multiple microinverters on a array. So this is just an overview. And, but I want to show you how easy that the uh, water seal fittings work in this and if you want to extend this trunk cable. One thing I like about the Hoy Miles cable, the trunk cables, is this is 10 gauge wire versus what we're used to working with uh, in 12 gauge when you're talking about the Q cables and something like that, maybe with uh, the competitors. So I'm going to show you how this works, uh, how the tools take these apart and what each one of these components is. We'll actually unscrew the inside of this and show you how easy the wires are to actually uh, connect. And then we'll talk a little bit about the DTU, which this is what communicates with the microinverter. So here is the microinverter itself. This is not a super light unit, but that's what it looks like front and back. Pretty simple. This is what would connect to your rails. This is what connects to your MC4 cables that's on your solar panels. Got four of those, you got four panels coming in and that goes to your trunk cable. So one thing that's important as an installer is how easy this is to work with. So you wanna be able to add a wire, extend a wire or cap off a wire and you would need to do that from in here. You can cap this off, which is what this got right now. This is a cap, but let's take this apart and take a look. And how you do that, you see right up in there, you'll take this tool on the sides and you press, it pulls that off. That's what you would connect your microinverter to. So let's say we were connecting this, we just snap it in and now that's connected. To disconnect, you do the same thing. Press your disconnect tool in there and pull it apart. Now to get this off, you have four things back here. They give you this tool. So you just go back here and you press with a pretty good press on every side and you pull that right off and you pull that back out. And on the inside of this, you have a black, green, and red. And to disconnect that, you would just take a four way, pull this off. You would disconnect your watertight seal here. And I'm gonna show you how you would actually put this together as well. And you would just pull it out, all right? So say you had all the components here, you just had the cable. You would turn this this way. You put that on first, then you would turn this little device inward. Right there, you kind of press it down. Then this one goes in like this, kind of right out to the end of that black wire, right like that. Push this up. So let's flip our wire over. Put the black over on this side, the green and the red. Slide it into spot. Take your four way. Tighten it down. And then slide this up here and tighten it down. So now you have a nice watertight fitting and you would do the same to this side over here. So this is a cap. So you take the cap off. So you would add your next wire into here to extend down to your next microinverter. Or if this is your last microinverter, you can put this in here to cap it off. Now that's watertight. And then see those three holes and those right here, the plugs, you just match those up. So like that right there, slide it in and then you should be able to see it pop in. See those little copper pieces? Now you're in the spot. So that's how easy that is to take apart and manage. That's very important. 
So then you just grab your microinverter and connect in. So let's move the trunk cable to the side. Now we're gonna talk about the MC4s. And I have this portable solar panel because it has the MC4 connectors. I wanna show you how you would connect that. On the MC4, you take this here, slide it in, and this one here, slide it in. So say this was a 500 watt solar panel, you just had it hooked up. Now to disconnect, just like any other one, you just press this side, I don't know if you can see it, right there and right there, and then you disconnect, and you do the same for this side. I just want to show you guys how important it is to have a micro inverter system that's easy to connect to your trunk cables to the mc4 that's pretty much every micro inverter but your trunk cables can be tricky i used enphase and i'll just be honest i had a little bit of a problem using their disconnect tools so for these tools here i think these work great i like how you connect the wire in that trunk cable way better than what you use in the enphase i'm not comparing the two i'm just saying that I like this system, the way that this trunk cable is set up and in this area right here, way better than the Q cable that I used on the M phase. Now I do wanna talk a little bit more about the microinverter and this is 2000 watts is what it can handle. It can put out 1918, so up to 480 watts per panel. That's pretty impressive when you start talking about microinverters. A lot of people get into looking at microinverters, they see one brand. That one brand, I don't feel like has kept up with the high demand of these high output panels. Hoy Miles is really given uh, as a product here that is possible to use in high wattage panels. You'll see this little communication antenna right here. And what that's for is to communicate with your DTU. So your DTU is gonna be, and that is your data transfer unit. It's gonna communicate with your microinverter. So this is how you're gonna get onto the app. The Hoy Miles has an installer app and they have a homeowner app. So you can monitor how your array is actually performing, you know, down to the actual real time. So that's really nice to have. That's one of the reasons I went with Enphase in the first place. Had I known about these other manufacturers, and that's the reason I'm making this video today, I want to make sure that people are educated that they have more than one choice out there. I'm not trying to persuade you to buy Hoy Miles, to buy Enphase, to buy any other manufacturer. I just want to provide you with, there are options on the market. Definitely look into it. And if you're into these type of things, be sure to subscribe to the channel because hopefully I'm going to be able to put a lot more of these type of videos out and educate my audience on what type of options they have in the micro inverter market. Also, I want to start getting into string inverters and doing some testing on those as well. So look forward to doing that. But this is a very promising step forward because Hoy Miles has now have this unit that can handle a 2000 watt array with just one microinverter. I, I find that pretty impressive. And here's a little bit more on that microinverter dimensions. To find that, you go to hoymiles.com. Then you would go to products. You go down to microinverter. And then you come down to microinverter products. Click that. Now you're in the product line. And the one that I was looking at there is the four in one. They actually have a one in one. So one microinverter for every panel one microinverter for two panels, one microinverter for four panels, and then this is the same thing. This is the uh, the best-selling one they have in the United States. So I wanna click into that, and this is the one that we were looking at. You come over here, and you gotta to click to 2,000 watts, and it gives you information about that. And you come down here, you can go through compatibility, warranty information, you can read more about it. My goal today was to introduce you to a microinverter manufacturer maybe you haven't heard of. And hopefully in the future, I'm able to put out a lot more videos like this that introduces you guys to manufacturers or products that maybe you just haven't heard of. And that's my goal is to try to educate my audience and different types of options that they have, even if they're having someone build their system or if you're trying to do a DIY system like I did myself. 
So if you found this video helpful in any way, be sure to smash that thumbs up button because it really does help me out a lot. It helps me get in front of more people and to educate more people about solar. And I hope to catch you in my next one.